Hi there, I'm going to talk about 3G Abacus. Before we start, I'm sure you have heard about Abacus. You're right. Abacus is a calculating tool that was used for centuries before the adoption of numeral system. And as you may have realized, there are many different types of Abacus. So what are the differences between them? The earliest type of Abacus is the Chinese Abacus. It was invented 500 BC in China. This abacus is a good calculation tool to replace the ancient counting by rods, sticks and bones. However, the counting is greatly reliant on the abacus itself. Then, the Japanese uses the basics working principle of this tool, and created this abacus in the 14th century. And named it the Soroban abacus. The Soroban abacus reduces the redundant beads on the suanpan. And makes counting faster. It soon became popular among students who are learning calculation. However, in order for this abacus to function, a total of six sets of formulae is needed concurrently. As the student's learning abacus is getting younger in the recent years, many young children find it difficult to relate and remember the formulae. As such, the founder of 3G Abacus wanted to have an abacus which retains the essence of abacus but, but at the same time, reduces the formulae needed. And voila! 3G Abacus was born. This abacus uses nine beaded column abacus, and as a result, reduces the formulae to only two sets. Ooh, this looks easier. Just like the math carrying over matter I learned in school. What does this mean then? By reducing the number of formulae that needs to work on the abacus, it means that, the time taken to learn the basics of abacus calculation is greatly reduced, lesser time means lesser money invested in learning. What's more, the end result is as good as the rest of the abacus. So with lesser time needed to grasp the basic, it also means the faster they can achieve the end result of learning abacus and mental arithmetic. I hope you have a little bit more understanding of what 3G abacus is.